Radio Stampers, Deb Valder here, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, and I'm here to show you how to do these post-it note holders using our envelope punch board. They're just very easy, um, fast to do, and a great gift to give to people. I also have an example here, a little bit bigger, but it's done with a Ghirardelli, Ghirardelli chocolate put inside. These instructions will be on my blog. This is what I'm going to concentrate on showing you today. So let me just get you going. You're going to start off with a piece of cardstock that is... Uh, four and three quarters by two and a half and what I did was I actually glued my designer series paper and my cardstock together before I did any of the cutting and any of the punching so that everything was exactly the same so these two are glued together with snail adhesive and then what I did was um, I uh, started with my scoring so after I cut my four and three quarters by two and a half I started scoring with my uh, Stampin' Up! trimmer and I scored at two and one eighth. Make sure you use the scoring blade, not the cutting blade. So I scored at two and one eighth, and then I scored again at two and five eighths. Now all of these um, measurements and directions um, will be on my blog, so you can hop on over there for all of the um, written instructions. Okay. So now I have my um, my score. So I'm just going to take it and I'm going to bend them. I am going to use my bone folder because I want my scores to be um, very, very crisp. So I'm just going to take these and score them with my scoring tool. Okay, for right now, these two are completely even, the top and the bottom, they're completely even. But what we need to do now is to cut off a quarter of an inch, and that's going to be our front. Right now, there's not a front or a back because they're both even. I'm going to cut off a quarter of an inch. So again, taking my trimmer, I'm going to take and I'm going to cut off just a quarter of an inch. And this is the cutter. Alrighty, so now we have um, our front and our back. And remember that the front is just one quarter of an inch. So when you're, you're um, doing your, when you're doing your uh, punches with the punch board, you do have a front and a back now. So this is my front because it's a quarter of an inch smaller. This is my back. I'm now going to take the punch board and I'm going to start punching. My first punch is going to be where I'm going to line up. I'm going to just show you the end of this cardstock right here, my left hand side, is going to be lined up right with this little piece right here. Okay, that is going to be my first punch. So I'm going to take and punch. And then I'm going to move it over. This left hand side I'm going to move over to the 2 inch mark. And punch. Alright, now what we need to do is we need to flip it and turn it. Because what we want to do is have, let me just show you, we want to have this little curve right here on the right hand side because we're going to be working on the left hand side. We're going to be working on opposite sides and that's very important if you want this to come out right. So on the left hand side um, was this little piece. I flipped it and I turned it and now it's on the right hand side. So we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to put it into the little puncher right at the end of that little score mark and then we're going to move it over to number two and punch. It's a little bit harder because you're going through two layers, okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to take and trim off these little excess pieces right here and right here because we just want it to look like an envelope or a folder, a manila folder. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay this in here and where this little dip is, I'm going to line it up right in the gully, which is what I call the gully of the trimmer. I start in the middle of the gully and I just I just um, cut straight down. All right. If it didn't go all the way through, you just want to take your paper snips. Remember, you're going through two, two layers. We're going to do the same thing on this side. And just take your paper snips and finish it off. It's almost through, but not quite. And now we have our little folder. You've got a front and you've got a back. Remember, the front is a little bit lower than the back and um, we're ready to decorate. This is what it looks like right here. The first thing that I did was I stamped um, a, little, a little saying on the inside. This one's really cute. It says, so sweet. This one right here says, love, and then this one says, for you. It came from a hostess set called Sweetly Framed, 
if you save up all your money, um, just put a couple dollars a week away, save up your money, get $150, and you can be your own hostess. If you can grab some of your friends, you don't have to save up $150, but get $150, and this can be yours because it's one of the hostess sets. Um, it will be gone after the end of June, at the end of uh, May, because our new catalog comes out June 1st. And then what I used for um, these pieces right here is from an older set called A Round Array, and it's just really cute. It just lends itself to um, a lot of different things, and we have punches that match all of this. So that is how I did this. Now, one of the things I wanted to show you was I used a six-piece, um, a six-inch piece of ribbon, and this is our um, ribbon that uh, matches our free designer series paper here. It um, is Coastal Cabana, and um, it has elasticity to it. And what I like about this for my um, post-it notes is that when you open this up and you have your post-it notes on the inside, it just stretches so that you can actually stretch it back and put it back onto your post-it note holder. If you didn't have this, it just kind of flops up a little bit, and that just doesn't look right. So you want to put something on here that is actually um, going to um, hold it together and yet be durable enough to take off and, and punch and um, and put it together. Did I say that right? I'm not sure. Anyway, um, again, my directions for this one are on my blog. If you are fine, if you're watching this um, years later, um, you can just go up in the upper right hand corner and in the search button, you can either search under um, envelope punch board or you can search under um, um, post it note holder. Okay, so have a good day. I hope you enjoyed my blog. Take care and please stop by often. Thank you.